So, um, for cross country classic type skis, there's basically two different types of skis. Um, one being what we call an on wax ski, and what we one be uh, one being what we call a waxable ski. And what we mean by that is the difference between a non wax ski being one with what we would call fish scales or a grip zone underneath uh, the foot area, and a waxable ski being uh, a ski where we put a grippy or sticky wax underneath the foot area and that uh, that wax is what uh, helps us move forward when we're skiing so when you're skiing and you put your one foot down to compress the ski that's the wax that grips the snow to allow you to move forward um, so we're, when we're talking about non-waxable we're not re we're not uh, referring to the the glide zone of the ski which we would wax on both a waxable and non-waxable ski. So if you look closely, you can see uh, the skis right here. This is a Solomon Elite 6 grip ski, um, and you can see the grip zone on there. Uh, depending on the manufacturer and sort of the quality level of the ski, some of the skis, will their grip zone will have sort of different shapes or different aggressivenesses of the grip zone, depending on whether the ski is designed uh, for maximum grip for somebody that wants to if, or wants to focus on getting good grip and not so much glide and somebody that really wants to get really good glide out of the skis is not going to have an, an aggressive a grip zone. Um, so then if you're looking at a waxable ski, um, you'll see the waxable ski is completely smooth on the bottom and what the area we would call the grip zone. Um, and then the interesting thing about that with a waxable ski, when we test the skis for people, um, we basically vary the distance, which would be the grip zone, and that gets marked with a felt pen. And we rough that up with sandpaper so that your grip wax will uh, adhere to the bottom of the base properly. So um, when we go back to talking about non-wax skis, um, in certain areas where there's a lot of humidity in the snow and you don't get colder temperatures, um, it makes more sense to, if you're a, a, a classic skier, to quite often be skiing on a non-wax ski. Um, some of those people will have a waxable ski, but most of the times when you're skiing in snow conditions where the snow temperature is close to zero degrees or close to melting, a non-wax ski is going to be preferable. And if you're into fitness and you're into performance, then a ski like, for example, like this Fisher Vasa Crown or Solomon makes one called the Elite 9, um, then you can go to a non-wax ski with, so with, with the grip zone on the bottom. And this ski, for example, has that uh, grip zone that's not as long as it's going to be on an entry-level non-wax ski um, and not as aggressive. So it's designed a little bit more towards gliding um, and for the person that's got better technique. And then the grip zone is shorter and not as aggressive.